Hola. <clears throat> I have a, I don't like saying weird, um, a unique hobby in that I love reading cookery books the same way that most people love reading, the same way that most people read novels. I have a big stack by the bed and um, if it's not massive I'll have one on the go when I'm on public transport. Yeah. Public transport. Do you remember that? Yeah. And, um, you know, I love reading Nigella Lawson's um, cookery books. I, I don't know how you discovered her, but just seeing her on the TV that first time, just a woman unabashedly, like, relishing food, every single process of it, the cooking of it, the, you know, the, the smells, the eating, you know, it was, it was genuinely groundbreaking, you know, as a Latina. Latinas, where are you? Whoop, whoop. Uh, growing up in England, you know, it was very much a St. Delia house. Uh, no disrespect, Delia, you know, we have much respect for your efficient and proper ways of boiling an egg. Um, even just reading um, Nigella Lawson's books, just get her love of cooking shines through and it's, it's good. Recipes are easy to follow. It's easy to riff on. Um, she doesn't talk down to you. She and the recipe list is fairly easy to put together. Unlike certain cooks like um, Ottolenghi. <clears throat> yeah, it's just uh, it's just reading it. It's, he's either taking the Mickey out of the general public, or yeah, he's handing on his recipes to um, Hera or Juno if you're more into Roman mythology. It's like. Right, you can just hand that on to um, Hercules as part of his 12 labours. So you have to compile that um, recipe list and um, do it on £5 with no Waitrose near you and not living in North London. And just honest though, d d you know, kind of like, you need the salted capers from the Pyrenees, you know, sort of like, but don't worry if you've got briny ones, you know, sort of like you need extra virgin, use cheese, you can't have slaggy cheese from your average supermarket and um you need abyssinian extract of rose you know sort of like harvested under the blue moon of 2011 and you need the golden tear of an ivory unicorn underneath the pink super moon of 2020 and just like honestly love come on <sighs> yes anyway